Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology Esoteric Life Coaching. Let's get on with this coaching. If you haven't been here before, appreciate you going down there and clicking on that like button and go ahead and uh, subscribe. That helps the channel out, the algorithms. And uh, when the video is over, it pops up a couple other videos. Click on those videos. That helps the algorithm as well. Get uh, all these videos out circulating. Alright guys, let's just get on with the reading. Today we're just going to do a general reading, see what's happening with everyone on the outside. attachments upside down so the angel of balance we've had her before and it's basically coming in that uh, things are starting to balance out right and this I would say happened yesterday the day before things are balancing out a little bit uh, in the last uh, few days we broke it broken free of the energy that was holding us back and the energy now is uh, free but it sort of created a uh, flood and I had I don't watch the news much but I do get glimpses on YouTube or stuff what's going on and I notice there is a lot of flooding in the world going on so this goes right along with what I've been saying in my last few videos if you watch a few videos ago even before all the flooding started out there and again there's always flooding somewhere in the world right but because it's right at this time uh, there are going to be a couple big earthquakes coming out uh, around Canada. We're going to have some maybe hit Japan. Uh, just keep your eye on that because the energy is expressing itself. It's pressing and coming out. It's growing in the same as you. You're growing. And so there has been an imbalance lately because after something opens up, uh, much like when a fan comes on full speed and you're in front of it and your hair blows. Well, I don't have much, but uh, it blows your hair all around. But then once you shake your head, it sort of all just goes back, right? It, but that first initial burst of energy releasing itself is going to cause chaos. And then from that chaos is going to create order. But what this uh, order is going to help us do is release these attachments we've held on to. And this attachment is in reverse, so it's telling me that we are getting uh, freer and freer uh, of our attachments. And in the middle here, we have woman holding a heart, and it, it or a coin, and it's in reverse. Normally, this means that there's going to be a benefactor coming in, or somebody that needs your money. <clears throat> but part of your boundaries and keeping your balance is not. Giving your energy, whatever form that may be, emotional, financial, your time. Uh, just keep an eye out for an imbalance of someone trying to take up all your time, right? Part of this new chapter that we're going into is that you're here to create you. Be you, have you, um, do you. And the focus is on you, right? What do you want? What do you desire, right? What are you ready to make a choice on? What are you ready to commit to? And once you figure out you, once you put you into motion, then people will then come to you, but not, but you'll have the balance of not allowing them to take from you, right? Like you did in the past, because why we did it in the past were for more insecure reasons or acceptance or belonging, something like that. And we sort of gave our energy, our heart, right? And if this is a relationship that someone gave their heart away and, but this time around, once we get our balance, once we get our sea legs back, then everything's going to uh, detach completely. And that's what the future's showing here is that we're going to detach from any of those old things that were not you. They were you in one way, they were an insecure you, but now we're securing our future, right? And what is secure in our future it means? It means that we're gonna do what we wanna do. Now that may sound selfish, but it's not. We're going to do what we're gonna do because 
we can't really serve the way we want to serve if we're giving out everything for insecure reasons. And to be more secure in ourselves is that we're going to do what we love to do. And if people are on board, great. If they're not, we're just going to do us. And as we do us, or you do you, I do me, once we do us, then people will come, but then we will be balanced in the way in which we then interact. Right? If I have my place where people can come and stay for short periods of time, um, I have some land I'm acquiring, and I'm going to put up some uh, RVs up in there. So when people come, they can come stay, or uh, they can live there, but they have to then exchange. They're going to have to do work. Right? I'm just not going to help them and help them and they do nothing for themselves or for me. No, they are going to have to earn. right? And if you want to earn your space on this ship and have a fellowship, then we are going to uh, understand each other right off the bat. right? And this is how you are. And I'm not going to use the word boundaries right now because boundaries bound. Right? They bind because we're all energy. And if you're going to set your boundaries, right, your boundary is that you're going to be you, right? And the boundaries, we don't want to bind things up. We want them to flow. So I want you to think maybe of how you can look at that word, you know, setting your boundaries. I get that from a psychological emotional. We don't want people walking all over us, right? But what we want to do is detach, unbound, unbind. Right? And in witchcraft, you do a binding spell. Right? Uh, we have in cooking where we have things that bind other ingredients together. Right? And having the understanding to unbind, unbound things, if you will, uh, helps you understand that there is no binding energy. Right? We can harness it, but you cannot control it. Right? Because you are this energy and it's not meant to be controlled. Right? It's meant to be harnessed and focused and a whole lot of fun things with it. Right? Let's get on with this reading, guys. Uh, right off the bat, we get four of cups in reverse. Let's see what else we get. Four of cups in reverse is that we've been... Four normally says, okay, we're solid, you know, but we're ready for more. And this cup is, it's upside down, and you may think that you're not ready for more. But that is, again, because you may want to evaluate who you're giving your energy to. Now, in essence, you're not really giving your energy to, you're just letting it get out of you. Because you don't want to deal with it yourself. All right? We get the two of wands here, and that's a choice. So you have to make a choice here. You can continue to allow other people to dictate you, your life, right? By you choosing to give your energy away. We talked about the vampire stuff a, a few videos back. Go watch those. And then we have a choice here now to walk our own path, right? The path that is going to, uh, again, help you become you, do you, and, and be you. All right, let me see what else we got coming up. All right, we get the full in reverse, so that means you haven't started the exact journey yet. You're free to do it, some things are broken free. Uh, you're still maybe feeling a little oppressed, but you're ready to just say, screw it, I'm leaving, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm just, I'm going, I'm going for it. Right? <clears throat> so that's what, we're waiting for that pull. Okay, so we get the King of Cups upside down. So there's not an authority yet. Um, again, you haven't given yourself the authority. And then we get the um, one of coins that are popping up. And that means we have yet to, uh, we get the full upside down, we get the money upside down. So everything's ready to go. The money is there. It's ready, but you have to take the step. That's the authority. That's making the choice uh, to do your next chapter. Right? We're going to the Five of Cups, if you will. 
Let's see what else we get. We'll get more story here, but I'm just sort of laying out the cards quickly and then we'll get into... Um, all right, so we get the Hermit. So there is a little bit of meditation that has to be done. Let's just go ahead and put out... There's the, there's the more cups I was looking for. All right, so we get the we get the uh, one of coins, we get the full, we get the king. Once you go through one through fourteen in the minor, then you have, in essence, you sort of do a, a micro cycle, and once you complete the micro cycle, you start the macro cycle, which is with the full, in one sense, and then the full then starts with the magician, and. When we get the fool upside down, is that in one sense we're not being foolish, we're not being adventurous, right? We're not being, uh, we're, we're we're thinking too much, right? And we're not enjoying looking forward to our next chapter. We're still attached to the old stuff. But what I'm seeing is that the hermit here, the hermit is saying, okay. There's a little bit of contemplation. Now, we've come out of the cave, right? Now that you've come out of the cave, the hermit, right? The hermit has come out of the cave. Part of the hermit coming out of the cage is now assessing everything, right? He's already went through, or she went through, whatever, I, if, again, genderless for me. When, when somebody um, comes out of one thing, rests, right, the hermit stage, and then comes out of the hermit stage, comes out of the cave, now there's new assessments to be done, new things to organize, new things to get going. And that's where we're at right now. You've come out of the cage, the flood has happened, and now you're assessing everything and going, okay, what what can I do next? Right? That's where we're at. We're, we're at the what can we do next stage. And part of that is you identifying you, being you, having you, um, and doing you. <laughs> So then we get the uh, Knight of Cups, and right next to the Knight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So we get the Knight and the Nine of Cups together. Right? So when I see those two together, the Knight is about taking charge. Right? And when you have the Nine of Cups, take charge of having fun. Right? You have to set the charge. You, I know set the charge sounds like we're going to blow something up. It's not. Uh, you have to set the ball rolling, things into motion. Now that you've assessed, now that you've come out of the cave and you go, okay, well, it's flooded out here. Okay, now the waters are receding. What's the next step? Right? We talked about we did the cleanup already. Right? So that the cleanup's been done, we have to go and set and contemplate a little bit and go, okay, I see all this, right? How can I best serve, right? How can me be me the best, right? How can I be passionate, right? Now, again, we can talk literal floods and how can you go help people, you know, after their houses have been flooded and, and help that way. And that may be part of this. But most of this is you... Not doing you with carrying everyone else's load. You And part of you doing you, having you, being you, is not carrying other people's burdens. Right? That's what keeps you bound up. Right? When you have to set in boundaries, again, I get emotional boundaries. I get that. But I'm talking about, again, what I talk, teach is metaphysical, supernatural. Right? The paranormal. Right? And when I do readings, I'm tapping into the electric grids of the universe, right? The dimensions, the diamonds, ions, right? God's mansions, man's ions, right? Or, or man and God's energy together. And we have the five of swords upside down, which means it's not about competition. It's not about defending yourself. That's boundaries. Right? I have to fight everyone off. No, there's nothing to fight off in the universe. There's not. There, you don't need to fight your soul. 
you don't have a spiritual warfare between yourself, right? It's about getting, uh, releasing that load. So whatever loads, like a house has a load-bearing wall that is supposed to hold things up. You're the center of your own house, right? You're the captain of your own ship, right? You have rules and regulations. We regulate ions, right? We regale our ions, our energy. We come out here and enjoy our energy, right? And the way we do that is by making our own path and not being attached to other people's outcomes, right? And having the courage, right? The king of cups, right? To come out here and take authority over the way you will communicate and have communications with others. And if anyone does not like that, your words aren't going to come across negative. Now, however anyone else interprets your words is on them. But if you're speaking from the heart, if you are enjoying life, you're just not going to uh, allow anyone to come in and take your enjoyment away. Right? You will have that conversation. Now, you can say that setting your boundaries but in my electrical sense is that you're just amplifying your field, right? And you can say, well, that's semantics. No, I'm electrically setting an electrical field that anyone who even thinks about coming into my field, um, that field is electric. And this fence, if you will, is not a boundary. It's electricity that's amplifying from me. And if they come into that and, that, and they get shocked, if you will, by my energy, Right? They're going to go, oh, whoa, I can't do that with him. <laughs> you know, don't don't mess with Charles in that area. Don't do that. Right? He has these electrical amplified, uh, centered, uh, connected, uh, captain of his own ship energy. Now that's not to say this field, anyone of like energy can easily walk through these fields, right? These electrical fields, right? I'm going to build, I build these fields and people come, right? But people who, whose hearts aren't pure, aren't going to, they're, they're going to feel resistance. And if they want to project those resistances on me, I, again, I'm not attached to that person's version of what their perception is. Now, people can come through the gate, the stages, the realms, right? All the same words into my field. And they may be hurting. They may lash out, right? But if they come with open heart and are willing and have the courage to do their own work, then I welcome, right? And if they're willing to take responsibility for those thoughts, actions, and emotions, I'm, I'm there. But if they're ready to release their burdens, right? Nine of Wands, that's a heavy load they're carrying, right? Um, they fought the good fight, and now they're, they're, they're like... I don't know what else to do. That's what I'm here for, is when you're at the limit, you don't know what else to do, you don't know what direction, that's why I'm here. That is my purpose, that is my passion. I've done it my entire life to help people navigate and negotiate their own path. Not my path, their path, right? And not a lot of people understand when I present to them their path, by just merely reframing what they told me, and I reframe it back to them, and they're like, well, you don't know me. Exactly, I don't know you. Nor do I want to get to know you, unless you want me to know you. And if you do, we're going to have an honest conversation. Right? Because if not, then my field, right, if you get more resistant, that means you get more bound, that uh, tightness won't get you through the fence. You know what I'm saying? Because when you bound, you just keep piling stuff on. You magnetically attract like energy. Right? And if my field's this big, if you will, and your stuff is this big that you're carrying around, it's not getting through my little fence. Right? Let's see if there's any other information. I know this sort of sounds down, but it's not. We're ready to start. We got the full, and we get the... Um, and the fool, in one sense, is a juggler, just like the magician in this deck. They're doing, they're starting to do a lot of things, and they're excited about doing it. So we don't want people around us who aren't excited. 
We want like energy around us to start making money, right? Nothing wrong with making money. It's part of this matrix, right? Uh, it's like hating gas, but you're driving your car every day. You know, it takes more electricity to charge your car, unless you're solar, right? And that still takes a lot of money to buy. But do the studies, the scientific studies have been done that for the electricity, where it comes from, and how long it travels to get to your house to charge your electric car, is, it takes up more energy than it does for the gasoline to actually do the car, for gasoline to get in your car. Right? I'm not anti any electric or electric. I like electric, I like gas, but don't uh, try to uh, present me with stuff that you haven't logically done your own homework on. I get that you're behind something. I get that you want your own cause. That's awesome, right? But if I've done my study and my research from all angles, right, that I can get my information on, be it jabs or be it electric, electric cars or whatever, I also look at who's driving this force, who's behind the agenda, and what's their purpose. Is it to control other people or is it to help them understand themselves? Right? All right, so let's see if you get any final information. Right, good. We get the, the devil we get the devil card in reverse. And the devil card for me is that we can be passionate or um, the temptations of going backward is less than it is going forward. If I said that correctly. Um, the devil card, for me, the devil card is not evil. It's about passion. Pass ion. Ions are energy, flame, electricity. So the devil represents electric energy. And if you want to call the devil or electric energy bad or good, fine. If I hook it to an electric chair, you can call that bad energy. Or I can hook it to your car and get you around town. Or your electric car, and that's great energy. So when the devil card's upside down, in one sense, we're starting to uh, take our fire that, or our passion that we had for something that's no longer working, even though you loved it or even though you hated it. We're taking that passion now, turning it around, and when we start taking control, uh, King of Cups from our heart, assessing things and then uh, beginning to make the money, right? That our passion, by us being ourselves, Right? Be, have, and do ourselves, that passion is going to get turned around and it's going to catch on fire and it's going to go fast, right? Which is our passion going on fast. And then we get the inference, uh, Empress. Um, and she's all about the heart. She's all about nurturing the flames, right? F uh, firing the flames. So you put the devil and the uh, Empress together. So uh, the heart is getting more inflamed with love, with passion, right? Passing her eye on. And then finally we get the page of coins as well. Now the page of coins is, again, it just goes back to saying we haven't started the project. It's a messenger. We haven't got the exact message that we want or we haven't distilled down the exact thing what it is. We're still taking the steps. And that's the hermit card where we're assessing, okay, what's the next step? What's our next choice? So we get the hermit and the choice card. Right, we got to contemplate on this choice after assessing, right, and coming back out, right, and a lot of this, what it is, is going, okay, I want to make sure that I'm not repeating patterns, I want to make sure that I'm not assessing the same way I assessed before, I want to look at things with an open heart, last time it was all logical, this time it's going to be hard, but at the same time, I want to make sure I'm keeping part of the mind in there, heart and mind together, and being able to make, to make a good choice. Right? And a good choice for you is not bad or good. It is a, it's in alignment with you being you, you having you, and you doing you. All right, guys, appreciate it, and look forward to seeing you. Links in the description below. Like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell. Definitely subscribe, that helps the algorithms, and definitely click on and watch other videos associated with that or someone else's video that pops up. All right, because it's all connected. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.